I'm going to say this, and I'm pretty sure I said this in one of the previous videos before, but I'm going to make sure I say this again. Um, if you have not learned from the Kanye video, I just want y'all to one thing, just leave the Jewish people out. Just don't mention Jewish people at all. This is, okay, this is not a, a black man being afraid of Jewish people uh, because they have all the powers and all that. Or, you know, us, me cooning to the Jewish community. But I want us to, do, let's just, I just want to make this clear. I want black people to do for their own, as much as we can under the government, right? We have millionaires. We can't do shit for our own. And um, Crystal said something on my podcast that, you know, I've been demon, I, if, if I'm correct, I might have to look at the podcast again. But she said something along the lines of, you don't have to open your mouth all the fucking time. We could just start doing. It's like, it's like we, and I felt the same way. At least I'm going to speak for myself here. If you know, I, I, I and I've said this on that channel. It's just like I don't want to look. I don't want to insult Jewish people when we say like we need to get like the Jewish. We need to. Have our neighborhoods like the Jewish and all that, because everybody look at that as anti uh and uh anti Semitic, which in my opinion is not anti Semitic at all. I done said this before. It's just us saying like we need to get to get like the Jews is an anti Semitic. It's just saying that we, as black people we need to have our own shit. We need to delegate our own shit. Anytime like, anytime they fucking uh you know try us. We need to have our own shit to where, you know, if they do come to us, we could just cancel them. Or we could just, uh, we could just, you know, take away. Think about this. As of right now, Kanye is no longer a billionaire no more. He's like got 400 million. And after the George Floyd family sued him for like 250, he's going to be down more than half of his fucking million. So... He are, he been, he damn near lost billions of dollars. No longer a billionaire. Everybody, and I mean everybody, is leaving Kanye. They don't want nothing to associate with Kanye. You say, hey, Kanye numbers is, is like, if you have stocks in fucking Donda or anything Kanye related... Oh, uh, man, I'm pretty sure you can't even sell them shits. Them shits is probably worthless right now. If if there's stocks in there. <coughs> Kanye became one of the most prof profitable black billionaires to, like, where he is right now. Now he's a millionaire, and now, like, all that shit's happening. Black, pe black people. Because I know we're going to, you know, because I... We're going to be looking at people. And yes, you are. And whatever you're thinking of, you're probably right. Especially if it's long as that. Wow. We talk, you say something about the black. Uh, a black man say something about the Jews. You know, all this shit get taken down. And the back of my head, it's just like, no shit. They, it's like, no shit. You talk about them. It's like, unless you apologize, like a good little boy. Like, all your shit's going to get taken down. Now, Kanye is going to double down. Even though he's sort of, kind of sort of apologized, you can tell he's doubling down. He's losing everything. So, we need to get to a point where, all right, stop talking. Stop, talk, stop talking to the media about this. Because, obviously, it's getting your ass hammed up. Stop talking, to, <laughs> stop talking to anybody around there with fucking film. And, you know, you won't be talking about the Jewish. Just, just leave the Jewish people out of this. This is all I'm saying. If I, I want black, and I'm saying this for black people to make our money. We need to start doing, but at the same time, this is why I always say we need to do for self. This is why, the, this is right here is the perfect opportunity why I say black people need to do for fucking self. Because you see what the fuck they're doing to Kanye. Damn near like. For someone that was a million billionaire, and I mean billionaire, to now he's down to like four hundred million, and depending on how, how that lawsuit goes, and Candace and Candace Owens is just like fucking fucking him up even more, to a point where 
I've already said he needs to stay away from fucking Candace Owens. But, you know, Kanye is going to be Kanye. But instead of just talking this shit, let's just do it. It Like, how many times where, like, black people, we are publicly, and I mean publicly, being made fun of or insulted? Or we see a couple things like, you know, coolest monkey in the jungle and a uh, motherfucking Gucci with the whole blackface thing and other shit like that. And everybody's like, you know, someone saying we need to boycott Gucci and all that other stuff. But niggas is just like, she, I don't already want my Gucci. I don't want it. You know what we need to do? And I said this, and I said this a long time when T.I. was like boycotting Gucci. <coughs> Let's let's um you know black high fashion, all right. We ain't gotta go. To, you ain't gotta go to Fubu, even though I think Fubu should make a comeback. You ain't gotta go to Fubu. Where are the black high fashion nieces? Where like they make good shit, and it's like black. Go to them. We got a bunch of millionaires, and I know Shaq. I know Shaq owns a bunch of shit. Just don't talk about the Jews. Make your money. Don't worry about what the Jews is doing. And, and I mean, I know, like, I don't say we need to get like the Jews, but at the same time, we don't have to talk about it. We just be about it. Hey, just get to, you know what? Let's get the money. Let's take a, let's take a fucking city or town and just build black, build black there. I feel like we can do with a couple of millionaires and say, hey, we buy a town and it's, uh, we're going to build black. We gonna have black. We gonna have black high fashions. We could be a but there's no reason we could. And I know Atlanta is like that. I guess so. But like other fucking cities, uh, like outside of Atlanta, maybe like North Carolina or something like that. Hell, even Maryland, because we got a bunch of fucking fashionistas here. And this is what I tell people about this uh fucking area that I live in, the DMV area. We used to have our own shit. When I be growing up, we wasn't we wasn't wearing no Gucci. We was wearing fucking Sauviato. We was wearing all days. We was wearing. Uh, I know Sauviato's not black, but you know it's more or less Italian. But like all day shooters, you like you wanted them. I was like I didn't know what Gucci was until I was fucking late, at least in my teen years. But everybody, we had our own shit, and niggas was buying shit for our own shit. like fucking. Uh, the most, the most suspicious thing niggas had on was like North Face jackets. But other than that, we had our own shit. We had our own designers. Hell, I even grew up, there was a couple people in my school, they wanted to be designers. They was making their own shirts. There was a Spanish brother, and I can't remember his name, but fucking hell of an artist. When I, when I, in my senior year, when I got a job. I used to buy these white t-shirts from Foot Locker. And um, I go to the Spanish, and he used to be, and like I said, this nigga was uh, a Spanish dude. Motherfucking godly with some paint cans and some graffiti art and some shit like that. You know what I did? Instead of buying some clothes, I said, I, I went up to the Spanish brother, and I paid, and trust me, he got paid every fucking time. I asked him, what's the price? Because I was working then. I said, what's your price? He'll say about, you know, $20, $40 and some shit like that. And I was like, what do you want? And I would really, and I would like draw designs of what the fuck I want and give it to him. And he was like, give me a couple days and I got you. Never, he's never took my money and he always came back with the product. And the nigga was a better, it's like, this is when I was like drawing, but my drawings were ass. Like, I was still drawing, but my drawings was ass. I just. Like, there was, I had a couple of ideas. One was, like, my original fucking uh, name was, was, like, Sir Flymaster. Like, if you... Like, that's my PlayStation name to this day. It's, like, Flymaster24. And, like, that was, like, my fucking face... My space name. Like, Big Raider Flymaster. Um, I had a shirt that said Sir Flymaster. That was, like, my first shirt. And then, like... Uh, I had other ones. But one of them... Was like I just I just drew this alien just to see if he could do it, and the nigga it, it it came out real fucking well. I just called it Al Leon, so it was like A L E and then it's Leon. He made that for me. 
And I was like, yo, this is cool. And it looked nice. And then like one of, and then like other shirts. And this one was my favorite. I just drew a Grim Reaper. It was just like it was a bad drawing, but he knew what the fuck he wanted. And I said, you freak it out however you wanted to. But he like I, I had this Grim Reaper in a bunch of graveyards. And when I tell you this man drew that, for, uh, he spray, came, spray painted that shit for me. And that one cost me at least 60 bucks, but it was worth it. But um, he spray painted that for me. And that shit was fire. Like that, that whole shit was fire. And I was like, like I got these ideas. And it, it, to me, it was just like, that was me showing my creativeness. But I also was trying to, I don't know if I brought business to him because I think he was making shirts for <laughs> other people. And he, and I can say that was, if that was his hustle, that was his hustle. But it was one of those things where I literally was like, why the fuck would I buy shirts or well, buy expensive fast shirts where I can just go to Foot Locker, you get like five t-shirts. Cause honestly, I just started wearing white tees. Uh, this is around the franchise boys, you know, and the white tee craze and the black tee craze and all that other stuff. Most of my shit was like white tees and black tees. But with the white tees, I just put shit on there. Making my shit stand out. So, and, um, we had, now the shirts I was using, I used to get them for Foot Locker. But then I upgraded to like Lux tees, L-U-X-E tees, which they had thicker fabric. So, it, it last like the shit lasted longer. But even then... I fucking took that to uh, the Spanish brother, and the motherfucker was just, like I said, he was godlike with the graffiti. I wish I remember his name, because we used to have class together and all that shit, so I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, he, like, but the Grim Reaper shit, I wish I still kept them shits, because after that, I went to the fucking military, and, I, you know, that's when you start, you know, getting to other shit. But even then, like, like those those shirts, to me, <laughs> to me at least, they were fire. And everybody was like, "Where'd you get that shirt?" I was like, "Oh, I drew the design." And like, and I always said I drew the design, uh, but homeboy he spray painted this shit. And like, I made sure like maybe for like twenty forty dollars, he'll make you he'll make you a design on the shirt and some shit like that. It was like I like I said I had a job there so I could afford it. So, every once in a while, I just get me a shirt. I was like, yo, can you make this for me? He was like, sure. Show me his price. And I was like, you know, all right, here you go. Bam. And then, like, a, uh, a week or two later, depending on the design, I get the shirt. But that's just me being creative. It's just like, and me, it's just like, to me, I feel like black people could do that. You know what? Just like, hey, you know what, artist? Hey, let's make our own shirts. You know what's you know what's weird? And another example like this, because um when I was in uh when I went to Art Institute of Washington, right after I got out the Navy, and it was a bunch of it was me and a bunch of people that I still talk to this day. We just called it and out of the joke, we just called ourselves the lounge boys because we always hung out in the lounge. So me and uh one of my friends, he's like my best friend, um he came up with the design lounge boys and all that shit. And like, and he gave the, the, he gave everybody that, you know, that we're still cool with to this day. Minus maybe like one or two people. We all had lounge boy shirts. I lost the shirt and I'm fucking mad I did, but I wish I still had the shirt. And the shirts came out fire to where the point where like people <laughs> around the art institute was like, a couple of people, they was like, I want one. So, I told I told him because he was just like, I really made this for us. And I was like, you know, and I told him this. Look, this is what you do. Flip the design. And I, this is what I told him. Flip the design a little bit. And then uh, make them pay for it. If anybody asks, we all chipped in. Because he, he really put it out of his own money. So, I was like, yo, if anybody asks, and if they want one. Shit, I fucking dropped my glasses. If anybody want one, they uh they have to pay. And we made them, and I don't know how much he, I told him, you know, just make them pay for it. 
And if they pay for it, you make it. But flip the design so you know which is which. They didn't even have names on the back of their shirts. We just did. But, you know, I was going around with my shirt, and I wore that shit proudly. And there was people that was just like, yo, I'm not going to lie to you. The fact that y'all got your own little squad and y'all got your own little shirts, that shit's dope as fuck. <coughs> and I'm like, thank you. It's like... It's just us being. It's just us being us. But you know the creativeness is there. It's like it. You you would imagine a bunch of black people coming together and coming up with a fucking idea, and then you know if people like it, they would want one. And if they want one, I'm like fuck it, make them pay for it. You know, and they and we did, and we made. And no, I didn't make. He made money off of it, but I didn't mind him making money off of it because I said. Well, he was the one doing it, so I said, hey, at least make some money off of this shit. That's why I was like, yo, if you're going to make them shits for him, make them pay. And then it's like, How, however much this is, I was like, you got it. And then he was like, however much them shirts is, you're paying for it. And they did. And that's how most of them got their shirts. You get them the size and all that shit. And I was like, and I was happy he did that because, you know, it's just one of those things where it works out in the favor. So in conclusion... Black people, let this Kanye shit be a lesson to you. That let stop talking. Stop. Let's just stop talking about the Jews. And I think even because I'm looking at the you know the Nori and the Drink Champs, and I know they've been taking it down. There's people been uploading it. And Nori even said it himself. Let's just start doing this shit. Let's just not talk about the Jews. Don't bring them up. Anytime we, anytime we um we want to do something for ourselves. Just don't bring the Jews up. Don't bring up the Jews. As much as black people, we like to talk about that history and all that other stuff. They're not listening. In my opinion, they're not listening at all. No matter how much we fucking cry, how much we fucking tell people that that's not right. What you're doing is not right. What you're doing is racist. What you're doing, like, offends us. What you're doing, like, you can't do that. That's offensive. And all that shit. And they don't listen to us. Nothing happens. No repercussion. No one gets canceled. Next thing, next thing you know, you see motherfucking Kanye losing billions of fucking dollars because he may or may not have said something anti-Semitic. I don't fucking know. I really don't. I, uh, I'm i pretty. I know the Def Con 3 jury was kind of like out there. So, yeah. But um, you see what they're doing to Kanye. The fact that like. And someone said, I think someone said this, I don't know if this was the brilliant idiots or I heard this somewhere, but uh, they said, imagine like the banks of all people said they don't want your money. It's like they have pedophiles, they have rapists, they have all these other fucking bad people in this world. They probably have child traffickers, drug dealers, money up in there. They'll take anybody's money, but they look at you, Kanye West, just to say something anti semitic and go, we don't want that shit. Your money's no good here. We all want your money. What? I ain't never heard no shit like that in my life. And when he said that shit, I said, yo, that's fucking wow. That is some wild shit. Think about them not wanting your fucking money. The fucking banks. Not wanting your fucking money. That's some weird shit. But let me know what y'all think. Tell me my name is Oskini. Oskini. My name is Oskino Fly, and I am out of here. Peace.